started a new sport, I made it on to a swim team and I've really been loving it. And I decided since it's freestyle week, what a better chance to show you guys what I keep in my swim bag that I take to practice. So, without further ado, let's get on to what's in my swim bag. Okay guys, so this is my swim bag and it's really big and I really like it and it holds a lot of stuff and I don't want to keep you guys waiting so let's just jump right into it. I'm actually going to start off with the things on the outside of the bag, the little charms and stuff. Okay guys, so I just want to say ignore the marker that is all over my hands. I can't get it off, but these are just a few of the little charms I have. I have this one that says chlorine is my perfume, I have this little giraffe, just all kinds of fun little charms hang up the side and then over here I have this little chevron black and white tag and it just says Kaylin on it so everyone knows it's my bag and then moving on down to the bottom this bottom little pocket has some pins I have some cute little emoji pins I have like a tongue face and a little like I guess you could say nervous face I have some little pins that are like I'd rather be swimming than this little one and then that one so those are my little pins and charms Okay guys, so now for what's actually in the bag, I'm going to start at the bottom pocket, or the smallest one, I'm going to work my way up to the biggest one, like the main pocket. So let's just get started with what is in the smallest pocket. In this pocket is where I normally keep my goggles and my swim caps. I usually keep two of each in my bag in case one of them, like in case my goggles were to break or something, I need an extra pair. So I have... these ones and these are my main goggles and they're just black and they have like a mirrored effect okay. and then and then I have my other pair my extra pair so stylish and then also in here I keep two swim caps I keep a black one and then I keep this really pretty mint green color. There's a hair on it. Really pretty mint green color. And I just keep those in there at all times in case I need one. Also, while I'm at it, I think I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the rest of my caps. I swim like two to three times a week, so I need a good many. So, here we go. I have this USA one. I have the navy blue one. I have this kind of sparkly looking one that's blue. I have a hot pink one, this one's really bright. This one is one of my favorites because it's like got chlorine and it's like lime green. It's cute. I have a red one, a leopard one, a white one, this fail. and finally, a blue one. Moving on to the next pocket. So in this next pocket, I think this one's actually a little bit smaller than the bottom one. But in this one, this one has a, well there's not much in this pocket actually, but I have this bungee and basically what a bungee is, let me just grab my goggles. Basically if like your goggle strap breaks, you can somehow, I don't really know how to do it, but you somehow thread this through and then you can just like adjust it with this and it's Apparently much easier, haven't had that happen yet, so we're just gonna, okay. Anyway, so then I keep some hand sanitizers because I like to sanitize my hands. That went off the bed. Okay, and then the last thing in this little one is my little, I can get it. Okay, this is my little nose plug. And then I have this little, as weird as this is, it's like, a silicone squishy thing, it goes in your ear to keep water out because if I get water in like one of my ears, sometimes it'll hurt really bad, so I put this in so I don't get water in that ear. And now moving on. All right guys, so I moved over here to show you guys what is in this pocket. So this is like the side pocket. In this side pocket, because there's two, one on either side, this is where I keep like my phone and stuff. So in here I have sunglasses. Sunglasses, cause I have really sensitive eyes so I like to wear these like 
to practice and then going home. And then also in here, if I can get it out, it's like really squished in there. I have my phone and this is usually in there during practice because I obviously can't have it when I'm swimming back and forth. I mean, that would probably be a bad idea. I'm just gonna pretend nothing happened. Okay, so then I have some mints. I'm destructive, guys. I have yet another hand sanitizer. And this one is Christmas. What can I say? I really like Christmas. And the last thing I have in there is this little polka dot kind of makeup bag. It doesn't have makeup on it. It has hair ties and a little mini. Let me try and get it out. It's like really stuck in there, guys. This might be an issue. Okay, I got it. It's a little mini hairbrush. It's a little mini hairbrush so I can pull my hair back to put it in the swim cap. And then I keep like hair ties, headbands, and bobby pins all in this little thing. And then we're just not even gonna try and put that back in right now. Oh, okay, having issues. And that is all, I believe, that is in that pocket. Let me just flip it around and go to this pocket. So this is the snack department. <laughs> so in here I keep my water bottle because it may not seem like it, but swimming a million, zillion laps back and forth is really tiring. You can get dehydrated, so you have to have your water, and I have issues with this water bottle trying to get this up, and you just drink your water, even though there's no water in it right now. Okay. And then also, the only other thing in here, I think, yeah, is some crushed up snacks, because uh, sometimes I have to bring a snack to eat if I'm hungry, like afterwards, um, so snack. Yum. And now, for what you've all been waiting for, the big pocket! I, I don't know. Okay. So, in the big pocket, I have lots of stuff. So the first thing I see on top is a pair of flip flops and I bring these to wear to and from practice and when I'm like walking around the pool deck because I can. Okay, and then the next thing in there is an extra swimsuit because who knows, you never know when you might need an extra swimsuit. And speaking of extra swimsuits, I have a lot of swimsuits. So you know what? I'm just going to show you all of them. Okay, so you saw the one I just held up. And then this one. This one. It's like cheetah, kind of not cheetah. It's kind of like animal print. And it's all colorful and rainbow. It's really cool. This one that fell is like navy blue, uh, royalish blue, and yellow, and light blue. Kind of swirls. I don't know. And then this one, which is my favorite, is really cool. It's like kind of like, I guess you could kind of say it's like kind of Aztec and like kind of like, it's just a cool pattern. It's really bright and colorful and cool. And then this one is like black and white striped around the rim and then it's like these colorful like leaves kind of. Super cool. This one is just a black and white with like a cool pattern. On the inside is Pink. And then this one is green, light blue, dark blue, and white, and it's just another pattern. They're all patterns. It's really cute. And then finally, this is another one I like a lot. It's like sparkly, and it's purple with like blue sparkles. So that is all my swimsuits. There's a lot of them. Now moving on to the rest of the stuff in the bag. The next thing in my swim bag is my towel. And I try and bring this towel to like every practice so I have to wash it a lot because this is my favorite towel. Like I'm not kidding you, this, I know this sounds weird, but this dries you off like so well. Like it's like so absorbent. And it's my absolute favorite towel and it's monogrammed and let me try and get it where you can see. It's red and white stripes and it has a big blue anchor and it says, my name. So the next thing I have in here after my towel is where it's all at. This is 
my bag of gear. So we're gonna have to set this down on its own. Just rip this baby open and show you guys what's inside. So I'm going to be explaining kind of what everything's purpose is in the gear bag. Okay guys, so in the gear bag, the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this. And that's kind of funny because I just said pull out and this is called a pull buoy. <laughs> funny so a pull buoy what this is is basically you put it like in between your thighs and it keeps you from kicking so it's kind of like to work on like your arms and it's kind of an arm workout so that is the purpose of this and then the next thing in here is my kickboard it's just blue we actually use this for a lot of things we use this for exactly what it sounds like to practice kicks and we do all kinds of different kicks. We just like hold on to it like this and then kick. Or sometimes what we do is it's called sideline kicking. And I might have a video of that at the end to kind of show you how it is actually done because I can't exactly show you right now. But you put the kickboard in the water and you put your hand in the middle and you lay your, I have to hold it up, you lay your head on your shoulder and then you kick on your side and it really hurts your legs. Anyways, there's lots of other uses for the kickboard, but those are only two of them. So the next thing is, hand paddles and I'm so weird I'm just I'm a weirdo okay hand paddles um okay, let me try to explain I you guys I'm so clumsy okay so oh my gosh they're wet they're all wet okay so basically what you do is you like put your hand in these and you can't get them on they're really difficult and what you do with these is you practice you put them on both your hands practice freestyle with them and it pushes the water back so these are good for practicing your uh, freestyle stroke and then the next thing and the last thing in my gear bag are these and these are big and these are called fins I'll just take them out so fins they're like on uh, opposite sides okay fins how many times have I said that are for basically working on your kick and they make you go really fast because they're like fluffy and they're really fun to use. I like using them to work on butterfly because I'm not good at butterfly. So that is the last thing in my gear bag. Okay guys, so the absolute last thing in my swim bag is in this little back pocket. I don't know if you guys can see that. In there is where I keep my change of clothes because I usually just, well, I usually just bring like a comfy sweatshirt or a big t-shirt and some sweatpants or athletic shorts because usually after swim practice, let me just tell you, the water at my aquatic center is so cold. So I like to have a change of clothes to go change into so I'm nice and warm and dry. And with that said, that's the last thing in my swim bag. Here's some actual clips from me at swim practice. Roll the clips. Just to let you know, that's me in the red cap, guys. <laughs>